Hello and welcome to Question Entertainment. I'm Christopher Willette and today I'm looking at the movie True Grit. True Grit is the latest Coen Brothers movie. It's a remake of sorts of the John Wayne film of the same name, the one he got his Best Actor Award for. And according to my father-in-law, it's only because the Academy wanted to give him an award for something. Anyway, though he was quite good in it, I only saw the first half, sorry, had to return to the library. But this True Grit is the Coen Brothers, it's a western, it's about a 14-year-old girl whose father was killed and the outlaw has escaped into Indian territory. Now she knows that her father was an outsider in the town, he was just visiting on business, and that nobody's really going to care about the killer or her father, so she takes it upon herself to bring the man to justice. She finds a lawman who has jurisdiction in the Indian Territory, Mr. Rooster Cockburn, and is going to go with him to hunt this man down. How was it? Saying it was a Coen's Brothers movie may just explain everything to some of you, but let me tell you, it was amazing. The acting was amazing, the visuals were amazing, I was transfixed from beginning to end. This film had heart and drama, and it was a western. I am not that familiar with westerns. I mean, I've seen Blazing Saddles and Young Guns too. Oh, and um, 310 to Yuma. That, that's about it. So I'm not a big western buff. I'm not against it, it just never happened. But this was just an amazing action-adventure film. But then they did a great job of just some very funny scenes. There was almost Gilmore Girls-esque banter going on, but it wasn't as girly for those of you who just cringed. Um, just very funny scenes, some great lines. You cared about the characters, you cared about their interaction, and then they're riding around horses shooting each other, and it's very exciting. I can't recommend this movie enough. So is it good for kids? It is very mature. The Coen brothers really aren't into gore, but they're not into pulling punches either. You do get to see somebody's fingers all chopped off. You get to see people shot. The whole thing she's discussing that her father has been killed and she's going to avenge. So the body count is high. There are some off-color phrases, and there are some things you'd want to consider before bringing anyone young into this film. What about spiritual issues? Well, the movie opens with a co quote from Proverbs, The wicked flee when none pursueth, Proverbs 28.1. The entire soundtrack is apparently based all on hymns, the soundtrack kept becoming Leaning on the Everlasting Arms. And all of that was great, but the Proverbs verse was referenced in the setup. It was lived out by the characters. And then you get Maddie Ross, who is trusting in God and trying to be a good Christian through this situation. And you get the Texas Ranger, who at one point stops and prays before making big moves so that it's going to work out right. The idea of salvation isn't pushed, like this is not an evangelical film or anything like that, but we have Christian characters living it out and it's just a very real part of their life. And I think really wonderful and it adds a definite element of redemption and even Christian redemption to an already fascinating and wonderful story. And what is my recommendation? If you can handle some violence and a couple off-color phrases, I would go see this movie. Actually, it's on DVD now, so you're gonna have to rent it, but it's well worth it. The Coen brothers have done an excellent job, as always, and 
it's got things you're going to be happy to have floating around in your head. Thank you very much for watching. Let us know what you thought about True Grit, and be sure to check us out on Facebook and our blogs. Them boys, don't think about the wrath that's about to set down on it. Jack and this gang are a rough lot. I do not regret shooting your father. I will kill this girl! Biggest mistake you ever made. Tell them that God's gonna cut you down.